Hello, today we will talk about uh, Antix Linux, a very lightweight uh, Linux distribution and uh, it has already been released uh, two months ago, the latest one, Antix 21 uh, with the, the newest uh, Debian 11. We will try it on a virtual uh, virtual machine. First, uh, we'll put a new, I'll call it Antix, Antix 64 bit because this is the one I in Linux Debian 64 it's Debian 64 next 1 gigabyte next create next 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 8 gigabyte no problem create okay so first if you have not downloaded the ISO you have to download it because you will use it in this next step so in the start I put start it tells me okay where is your ISO I put add it is in my downloads here Antix open choose start and that's it let me close this one so I'm in this screen I put enter let me close this one also if you want. okay so it is starting up, it's very fast. Okay, good. It is on a virtual machine, that's that's why it will be small. Afterwards we after installing we will uh, will fix the the resolution. But if you are installing it on a on a new machine, there is no problem. The resolution will be will be fine for you. Okay, so here I have here the install button. I double click on it. Okay. Keyboard setting PC 105. Yes. Next. It says use the disk uh, home and the root are the same. If you want, keep it regular. Next, okay to format. Yes, if you are on a new machine, you have to be careful for the partition that you want to install because it will remove everything. For here, it is on a virtual machine, I don't have a problem, I can format. So, here it is installing, and here on this side, we, we can continue with next. Okay, so next computer name, let us let me call it. Uh, 13 minutes dash home okay next next the username I'll put antics as username the password you put your password don't forget it for this session for me next so every time you log in you should put the password next so it has finished so we have to wait till it will install okay so it has finished let me uh, it will so it is rebooting now please remove the disk so I put enter enter You need to ins uh, download uh, the guest edition CD image before continuing so that it will can uh, make the screen bigger. So here uh, we have uh, Antix is my username and I put the password and we have to be sure if it is written the, ses the session type is Rocks Ice WM. I press F1 rocks also rocks flux box i will use also ice wm so you have z z z ice wm okay so basically this is the antix screen the wallpaper we can change the wallpaper all we have to do is right click control center choose wallpaper 
unfortunately it doesn't have too many wallpapers and text because they want it as lightweight as possible let us use this one but I don't think it will be okay for this screen okay it is better anyway the RAM it is one 180 mega using it is very very lightweight the disk is using also 2.6 gigabyte so we have installed a system which has everything approximately and it is only 2.6 gigabyte the main feature of Antix is the control center the menus are a little bit outdated but uh, it's very functional the main one that we want to use is the control center it has everything in it so let's say uh, choose wallpaper now I'm in ISWM let's say I want to change here or I want to look at the key bindings it gives me uh, the menus that are this menu it gives me the menu if I want to change something in the menu the startup also I can put something in the startup the keys all the keys if you press a certain key you can change it let's say alt control 1 is I put the, the windows grid to the left so I press now alt control 1 it will put me on the left I press alt control 2 it will be or put me on this side if you don't like it you want to put only control 1 you remove this one and you save the file as simple as that inside this one very well organized and gives you all the options for ISWM okay it has the same thing with JWM which is also a window manager and Fluxbox this is uh, for the system monitor it is good to have it here so that the, all the configuration files you can uh, you can use them directly from the control center looking at the software if you want to update the software all of these can be used in the terminal but what I like is the package installer here this package installer it will assist you if you want to download something uh, in the browser you can choose whichever browser that you want if you notice I, you ha they have two Firefox Firefox the extended security release which is the one that is used by the Debian repository that's the one that Debian uh, has uh, in, in their repository the other one is the one that uh, MX Linux is using it is the latest Firefox so they always update it and you can use it also in Antix so here if I want to install it I directly press it and press install so it's installing this Firefox let me just continue here for the system okay network if you notice there are very outdated programs they have like dial up all of this for the Wi-Fi and you might have some problems in newer versions I think with Wi-Fi because it is also running a, a an old kernel for the session you can set the screen resolution I already set it or, or you want to change the grub boot image at the beginning the other thing here if you notice here the sound card we have four the mixer equalizer the mixer the test sound and the sound card the chooser these are I have faced some problems with Alsa that's why in in uh, Antics I use the pulse audio because sometimes uh, when you open a browser the, the my sound did not come so I have to change either come here and change back the sounds or uh, or uh, afterwards I installed pulse audio so here I will install tell me yes so it is installing here also okay for maintenance the, these two are very important the boot repair and the ISO snapshot the ISO snapshot uh, let's say I installed Firefox I installed other programs I made some configurations I made some configurations here and there and uh, 
everything is okay I updated I upgraded everything to my liking and then I want to make an ISO file so that when I install it again on another another hardware I can use it so the ISO snapshot comes in handy do you want to exit the package yes so I already installed this one so Firefox is installed here what it tells me is that it will create an ISO file you can put a name it's a good name here it gives you the date that it was installed so afterwards you put next and then you press next snapshot now all has has all the information and when you press ok it will start creating your your ISO so that is a very important feature so you can make your work on your configuration let's say for one month or two months or all your programs you can back it as if you you back it up because it will be an ISO file you back it up and it will be on your system whenever you want to install it on another hard disk it will install so basically that's it for the control center very important uh, center Firefox I go to applications Firefox okay so basically this is the Firefox let us check uh, which version so it is version 95 the newest one and if you notice the package manager it's MX Linux so MX Linux is using this one so we close it okay so let us continue so basically for the uh, internet we have the Firefox now I can use CMonkey for the email if or if you want you can download Thunderbird this is for the PDF there's no library office for this lightweight uh, system they did not install it but you can install it also on uh, in the terminal and in these are the rocks filer file that I talked about very minimal okay so basically Antix is a very good uh, operating system lightweight though some uh, some things are a little bit uh, old-fashioned old but it is very functional you can have all the applications that you need and because it is lightweight you can uh, load it with whatever you want and it will it will perform very well